Hi guys, this is Asus RPAX58 and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up this Wi-Fi range extender. There are two ways to set it up, a smartphone application and a computer web interface. And I'm going to show you the both methods, so let's get into it right now. First, plug in your extender into a power outlet next to your router. You have to keep it close to your router, about one meter is okay. And you need to wait until this indicator turns blue and then you can continue on your smartphone. What you need is install Asus Extender application from App Store or Google Play Store on Android devices, then open this application, uh, allow to use your location, then allow to find devices on local network, this is necessary, uh, press OK in this window and wait for a while. Once you see this button, step on Setup Extender. Now you need to connect to the Extender's network, to do this open your Wi-Fi settings make your way there depending on your device. So Wi-Fi settings, now you need to find ASUS network. ASUS RP, this is what you need, so connect to it without password for the first time. And once connected, go back to the application. Tap on this arrow to go to the next screen. Now where you want to place this extender, let, let it be in, just in bedroom, hit done. Next step, wait a few seconds, as told. Next, select a network you would like to extend, so you need to find your home Wi-Fi net network name in this list, tap on this name and enter your Wi-Fi password. In this field you have to confirm your password, so enter it one more time. Then hit done and next step. Now you can use the same settings as your home network to create seamless connection or uh, make a separate network for this extender and check in this checkbox. But I prefer the first option, seamless is good for me. So uh, hit next step over here and now create your admin username and password to enter the router settings from web interface or from another application on another smartphone. So let the login name be admin and the password will be simple for this example but you have to enter at least eight characters done and as always next step edit and it's creating extender network so now once you see this white indicator on your extender, actually you're all set, but let's wait for the application reaction. And now you need to connect to this network to finish setup. So go to your Wi-Fi settings, find your network and connect. Now let's go back to the application, tap on finish. And that's pretty it. You're all set, your system is up and running. Uh, now you can unplug your extender and plug it in somewhere in Wi-Fi dead zone in the next room or somewhere else. But keep, keep in mind that it has to be in the router's range because if you see the red signal over here, it means there is no Wi-Fi in your extender. So uh, make sure that LED is white. If you need to add more extenders, just tap on this plus icon and repeat the steps we've just completed. Also, for this extender, you have an option of wired connection. So if you have an Ethernet cable and you have an option to put it through the roof or the wall, uh, wired connection is always better and faster than wireless. So I recommend you to do like this. If you prefer to set up your extender on a computer, no matter what operating system you use, uh, you need to make your way to Wi-Fi network list and connect to Asus RP network over here. Uh, so let's connect. Next, open any web browser and in the search bar type in the following address www.asusrotor.com. Uh, next, hit enter and it takes you to the web interface of your router. First, you need to scroll all the way down on this screen and check this checkbox. Click on agree. Now also click agree in this window. You need to do it on the first launch only. Uh, so let's create a new network. 
and just like on your smartphone application, select your Wi-Fi network, then type in the password in this field. Well, uh, I want to tell you that this in interface is pretty stubborn, so sometimes you have to uh, click something or uh, press something two times to get the result. So enter your password, hit next. And now if you see this window, let me explain what you see here. Uh, if you have separated band network 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz, you are suggested to select uh, the second band in this window. But I have dual band network, so I can click on skip. Uh, next, assign IP automatically, or if you know how to do this, you can assign it manually. I prefer an automatic option. And in this window, you, uh, if you wish to create seamless network, just remove these abbreviations from here, check your password, and apply. Now create login and password for your admin panel. and hit next. So internet connection is finished and now you can connect to your uh, home network. So, and once connected, you actually you're all set. You can uh, move your router to a better place. And that's pretty it, guys. I hope this was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and be awesome. Bye, guys.